Hello and welcome along to what might be your very first ever drum lesson. My name is Will and today I'm going to be showing you how to play a basic rock beat. We're going to start with a simple tapping and counting exercise that you can play pretty much anywhere. Kitchen table, sofa, pillows, sibling's head, your knees, kitchen table, I said that already, desk, or if you're lucky enough to have one, your drum kit. I'm going to be doing this first exercise on the practice pad that's here in front of me and we're going to be counting in groups of eight. Now, unlike how we'd normally count one to eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're going to count one and two and three and four and. Still eight notes, but counted in a different way. These are actually known as eighth notes and we're going to be counting like that pretty much for the whole lesson today. I'm going to be demonstrating this first exercise on the pad here in front of me and initially all I want to show you is actually how we hold the drumstick properly. Now there are a few different sorts of grips that we can use but the one I'm going to be showing you today here is going to use your thumb and first finger. It's going to grip the stick like this and then we're going to wrap our fingers around the stick like that. Okay. That means we're going to have a nice bit of flexibility with our wrist when we're hitting because we want to use more of our wrist than we do our arm actually when we come to hit the drum. What you don't want is you don't really want to hold the drumstick like you're holding a sword. Lots of people sometimes hold it like this. We want to keep the main part of our grip between our thumb and our first finger and then wrapping those fingers around like that. Uh, and we're going to do the same with the left hand as well. And that means I'm going to be nice and flexible with my wrists. Once you've got yourself in a nice kind of comfortable grip, we're going to try and just do eight hits and counting in that way as I was saying before on each hand. So. Right hand first, nice and evenly. We're gonna go one and two and three and four and. Same with the left hand. One and two and three and four and. Let's do it one more time. One and two and three and four and. Left hand, one and two and three and four and. Then I want to see if you can do the same sort of counting, but with right left instead. So one and two and three and four and. And lastly, eight hits all together at the same time. One and two and three and four and. We're looking for things to be as even as possible. So what we don't want is one and two and three and four and one, two and three. That's not what we're going for. We're looking it to be nice and even and as consistent as possible because if it's nice and even in this exercise, it's gonna be nice and even when we get onto the kit in just a second. So let's try that exercise a few times round and get nice and comfortable with it and then we'll move onto the drums. One. Onto the left. Right, left. Together. Right hand, left, right left, together, here at the kit we're going to be using three different sounds to make up our drum beat. We've got our bass drum, our snare drum and our hi-hat. Now we're going to take the counting from that first exercise of one and two and three and four and and we're going to be playing it like we did earlier with our right hand on our hi-hat. So just like this. One more time. Now once you've got that counting down, really you want to see if you can keep on looping it. So you're just playing one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and continuously so on and so forth. So you just keep on looping and looping it around. Once we've done that, we're going to try and add in our left hand to hit the snare on beats two and four. So initially, let's just try and see if we can play that once through. So our snare drum is going to land at the same time as our right hand, not separately. Mm -hmm. 
And now continuously looped round. After that, it's time to bring in the bass drum. Bass drum's gonna land on beats one and three. Initially, I'll just play it once through, uh, a couple of times, and then I'll loop it for you again. You'll probably find that you'll become very quickly the ultimate champion of this. But when you bring in the bass drum, things kind of start to fall apart. Do not worry if everything fell apart. It's a lot easier for our brain to process just using two limbs. When we bring in the bass drum, we're asking it to use three, and sometimes that can cause us to play quite strange things. Now, my top tip would be just to slow everything down. Even if you can do this hand pattern really fast, you only know the pattern like that. You don't know it with the bass drum. So you might have to, what feels like going back a few steps first to get the bass drum involved. So really, really slow it down. I'm talking super slow, like this kind of slow. Oh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with playing it slow. If you're still finding it a little bit tough to get that bass drum involved, split the whole beat in half. Just literally play the first four notes. Just one and two and. And then play the second half. The great thing about this beat is actually both halves are the same. So you can really take your time with this because eventually you're just continuously looping the same pattern over and over again. Now, if you manage to play the combination through just once, just one time from one to the and of four, then congratulations, you've just played your very first ever bar of music on the drum kit. Feels good, right? Huh? The next thing you've got to do is learn how to play two bars without stopping, and then four bars without stopping, and then eight bars without stopping, and then 16, and then see if you can play it for 30 seconds without stopping, a minute, three minutes, 10 minutes. We've got to play it over and over again until it starts to feel and sound amazing. Really try and challenge yourself and push yourself to play it as much as possible. It's the drum beat you'll use for the rest of your life, so it's really worth putting the time in with it. If you're starting to feel quite comfortable playing that beat, maybe we could put it with some other ideas. So let's try playing the drum beat three times, so three bars through, and then on the fourth bar, we'll use one of those combinations from the pad earlier. So we'll try right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, one and two and three and four and, on the snare drum. If that goes well, perhaps a second time, three more bars of the drum beat, and then right hand and the left hand are gonna go onto the floor tom on the snare drum. One and two and three and four and. Should sound something a little bit like this.
And just like we did on the pad earlier, we want everything to sound nice and even and consistent. So we don't want to have kind of stopping and starting. We're looking to try and keep it as smooth as possible. If you find that you're struggling to do that, you probably need to slow your playing down a little bit more to give yourself enough time to get the counting through. Once you're getting comfortable with the pattern, you'll probably find you're able to play a bit faster as well. Really take your time with this one. It's one of the most important drum beats you'll ever learn to play, so you might as well learn how to do it properly. And have fun with it. I hope you've had fun watching this video today. If you have, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions at all about learning the drums, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to know how you're doing with learning this drum beat, and I'll be happy to help you if you have any problems at all. Oh, and whilst I think about it, give me a follow on Instagram, at Daily. I post quite a lot of videos while playing there as well. Good luck with the beat, and I'll see you again soon.